brand new beautiful game I started playing yesterday and it's got quite a twist to it it's very different I just want to show you the combat off the bat it's actually really good the graphics are visually beautiful we've got a caster in the back about to do AoE we've got our tank right there doing a shield we've got Zargala right there there she goes doing a 360 spin but this one's a little bit different let me show you some of the the champions I've collected so far like I said the graphics look nice I mean look look at the particle effects on this guy the book they look sweet and I've only got little rares and I've got one epic right here no I have one more epic but here's the biggest thing about this game that I thought I found kind of funny or at least a little bit charming for a game like this this is called bloodlines because you're actually making heroes yourself we go out and we do the gotcha to get heroes but we also do gotcha with our companions in the game and there's a whole bunch of waifus that you are going to court and you're going to have babies with and then you can change them over to husbandos if you want them to right here at the touch of a button and they can be male or female whichever you choose so if you wanted a whole bunch of males over here you could go change each of them to the male version or you can mix it up and have either i've got all the females lined up and i've had babies with each of these you can see she's a dark-skinned elf she's a maybe a high elf we've got a forest elf over here i don't know why i'm getting all elves right now Pretty soon we're going to have this lady, I think soon, but we have, we've consummated and made some heirs. That's part of the game. So we've got little babies here. He's giggle, giggle, coo, coo, right? And we've got one that's kind of grown up. Let me see what happens when we actually quick develop. Are they going to come out? Oh, unlocked at three, eight. I think these, I've been doing this since yesterday. I gave them a little play. I gave, I can't remember now. Because some of them I wanted to keep mainly with study and then some I wanted to keep with train to see what they would turn into. I'm going to do a whole bunch of play with this kid. This kid's not going to be a warrior. He's going to be playing with games and stuff off to the side. Look at this evil looking dark elf baby. I think I was doing, I don't know, maybe massive training with this one. Let's get into those trainings. And then I guess the baby's not going to go fully active until 30. I see 12 of 30 down here at the bottom. This one's 6 of 78. So this is a three star common though. This girl is a rare. She must be, the mother of her must be the middle elf, right? The high elf earlier. Let's go make some more babies. Let's open up another slot. Confirm that. Um, yes, let's have this baby study. Yeah, you need to study. All babies need to study. She needs to study. Let's get you studying. Oh, wait, wait. She's almost done. And then a little training. She's 15 to 15. Let's go. Develop. Good to see you again. She turned into that okay she's a rare one star now with agility for attack speed increase we've got some traits here when attacking 20 percent chance to silence the target and then it restores constitution 6.2 percent of the strength every five attacks it's pretty cool and i don't know there's got to be combinations in this games of ways to raise your your babies to become certain heroes in the game, right? There, there just has to be. Let's go over to my companions now and show you the sexy time. Perhaps we could go somewhere more quiet. Let's do that. <laughs> we already went somewhere more quiet. Okay, look, a baby just came. There we go. It's a two-star common. I need to get some better quality women instead of these two-star women so they can start popping out some rares, epics, and legendaries, I believe. I don't know if we have room for more babies. I think since we opened up that slot, we have enough room for one more. Let's see. She's not available, not available. I don't know what's going to happen when I have a wolf baby or half-orc baby. That'll be pretty sweet. A dwarf baby, although I picked a dwarf. You can pick yourself as a human, an elf, or a dwarf when you start playing the game. She looks sexy as hell. They're all they're all waifus, right? I don't think there's any bad choices in here. We're gonna go with this forest one. Oh, we can we can we can woo her over with some of our charms here. Maybe if I bring it up higher, I'll be able to get well, she was a common. This one's a rare. She's a common. This lady's a one star rare. So we could give her a lot of love. All right, so other things in the game to do. You can put gear on your companions. You can level up your companions. I've got this guy unlocked so far. Backline Archer, who does like a big single target hit, three-star rare. These are all ones I got recently. Let's go over there and see if I can summon some more because I was kind of confused about the summoning in this game. She's a backline dwarf that does crazy mortars. She has a pet that runs around with her. It's pretty cool. This guy looks badass, right? I like it. I actually really, really like the graphics in this game. I just was kind of... I wish it was to the side right 
what is that landscape instead of portrait if it was landscape i would definitely be more into this game and then if it was turn-based of course i would be more into it but we do have there's a three-star epic so this is probably my strongest that i need to gear up and she does a charm ability we can scale upgrade it two three but what's weird is right now i cannot see their abilities unless i go into the codex then i can see their abilities i guess they won't let me do that until later there's senate meetings we got to go into and we have to you know they tell us like that the town's not doing well or we did taxes and the poor are getting poor what can we do to help out there so we have to solve issues it's simple right they give us these and we pick whatever i don't think there are any bad choices but i'm sure it does affect the flow of the game so this game is a little bit different right you're raising your heirs you've got your waifus your husbandos that you're having these relationships with you're finding them plus not only this right with the senate you go in here and you also have to interrogate people in your dungeon and then they can become part of your army. So this guy, I've already interrogated him quite a bit. Do I have more? Okay, I've got one more interrogation. He wasn't responding well to intimidation or punishment. He was doing okay to, my companions will burn this place to the ground. I don't know. He wasn't doing anything. Let's go to communicate with this guy. I, I, okay, now we gotta come back. Communicate, there I am, I'm a dwarf. Threaten him harshly? Yeah, threaten this guy. Okay, we went somewhere, some progression here. So rehabilitation and 100 more points. Let's go over here to this dark elf that I captured. I don't know which one did you think that was going to work? What? I don't remember what I used on him. So you gotta remember, remember what you were doing to these people. Uh, yeah, hey, how's it going, buddy? I'll give you some food. This kind of, it's on me. That doesn't have any effect on you. What about intimidation? 30, 30 points, punishment, 20 points, communication, 20 points. Go back to intimidation all right so we're we're on cooldown so we've got a dungeon to where we to where we intimidate prisoners let's go back out to the map to where we're doing some fighting i'm sure we've got some bosses to fight i'm sure we've got some dungeons to fight i just don't know where they're at yet because i have this exploration and i think this might be let me do it 10 times okay i don't have enough i think this is how you pull your heroes but you also get other resources while you're doing this while you're running around through here but I was getting heroes through doing exploration. I'm a little confused. There's a lot of stuff in this game, okay? I was worried about raising my children and not paying attention how to, how to do the summons in here. Let's go to another battle really quick and move forward with a battle with this group and see the graphics again. And you guys let me know, what do you think about a game like this? When we're in town, we have to get workers and there's the pub, there's another area. We just allocate people over to them to make it stronger. It's not like we have to do anything crazy. It's not like a town building game. It's a idle game like this. But we have to learn what our people do, what they're going to do in their lanes, how they're going to affect the back line. I mean, right now, I'm just, it's on auto, right? I'm not really paying attention to what our abilities are, what's going on with the enemies and what strategy I need to plan for. I'm just making sure I'm stronger than they are and upgrading my gear if I need to, to do that and upgrading my levels at this point because it's new, right? It's new, so if I need to get stronger, I just level up some levels. I go over here to my equipment, do my equipment later on with the traits. I have no idea what I'm doing with these traits yet, but it seems like a, a pretty interesting game, so I thought I would show you guys all about it. It's called Bloodlines. Look for it down below. I'll see if there's a link to it that I can find on Bluestacks or LD Player to help me out. That way, if you guys wanna play it on an emulator, download it through there to support. And let me know if you played this. Have you played this game? Let me, I'm really interested to know about the kids, these little kids we make. Like what happens to these kids? And can we make some badass kids if we train them properly? Like if we give them the training, play or study combination just right. And then if we find the right waifus, can we come in here and make some really strong in-game things? We've got the Senate leaderboards. Oh, summoning circle. Here it is. We don't have enough to summon. Let's do... Let's do a single summon. And I think the summoning animation was really cool too. It was. Although I don't hear anything sound going with that. Hey, that's a rare orc. That's Gaelic, ultimate Gaelic right there. Let's go check him out after I get done with this summon and then we'll be out of here. Again, please down below, let me know how you feel about this game. There's some really unique games out there and unless you're out there actively looking for new games that release, you won't know about it because there are a lot of new games being released all the damn time. And it's hard because they get 
you know, they get pushed under by all the bigger name games out there. And just the sheer amount, it's really hard to keep up. That was another cool orc with everything that's coming out. And I have a blast playing all these games for at least a week or two weeks. If it's really good, longer than that, of course. My favorite so far over the last few weeks has been Among Gods, still playing it daily. I'm going to give this one a little bit longer. I'm going to play this, this for at least a good seven days and see what happens. Nice big old orc. Wasn't there one more we got or did we get two? No, we got another one. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't. I will see you all in a video soon.